Hi, Brandon Lewis here from Embedded Computing Design, and today we're at Maxim Integrated in uh, San Jose, California, and I'm here with Andrew Baker, who is the Managing Director of the Industrial and Healthcare Business Unit. How are you doing, Andrew? I'm doing very well, thank you. Very good. So I know that there is a lot going on in uh, some of the uh, sensing and power products that are available for industrial and healthcare applications, and you've got a couple of new announcements that are coming out. What can you tell us about them? Yeah, so uh, we have two new products that we're announcing. Um, they're related to health, fitness, and well-being. Uh, these two new products are specifically targeted towards uh, wearable products. So as many of the uh, listeners and viewers might know, wearable product, products are a hot property these days, mm -hmm. big growth opportunity. Um, people want to do biosensing in a uh, convenient uh, wearable form factor. And so these two products address specific requirements in terms of measuring um, vital signs on wearables. So the first products I'm, I'm going to talk about is a biosensor for in-ear heart rate and SpO2 measurement. So this is a second generation of an in-ear uh, optical module. And when I say module, I mean it's a fully integrated system which has the emitter, LEDs to drive the uh, photons into the tissue and it also has a receiver integrated into a compact module. Um, the advantages that we bring um, to especially in-ear applications because it's quite compact, um, not much space in there, is that it's a very small size. The batteries tend to be very small uh, in these applications so very low power and also very high uh, signal to noise ratio so you can measure the, the vital signs that you want to measure in terms of the uh, heart rate and SpO2. So that's the initial product uh, that uh, we're announcing. The second product is a very important product in terms of measuring the most vital, uh, most measured vital sign that there is, and that's temperature. So we developed previously uh, a first generation product, and this product uh, builds on that competency reducing size by more than 50%, so it's half the size, also considerably reducing power, uh, but also maintaining uh, accuracy over a wide temperature range. So these two new products will enable new use cases in smaller form factors, lower power, um, to give uh, users the new use cases that they're looking for in, in wearable applications. So that's the, the basic introduction. And uh, also we have available for our uh, engineers or customers um, two EV kits, one for each of the products so they can fully evaluate as well as develop their own uh, use cases. Very good, Andrew. So where can somebody go if they want to find out more information about either one of these new products? So you can find it directly on the Maxim website. Um, you can go to www.maximintegrated.com. And you can search for MAX 86161 for the in-ear biosensor and the MAX 30208. Very good. Well, thank you very much, Andrew. I really appreciate it. And uh, we uh, here at Embedded Computing Design and Maxim Integrated are really looking forward to seeing what you, the audience, does um, with these next generation uh, healthcare and, and sensing solutions. Thank you very much, Brent. Thanks a lot.